Good morning. Uh, I will start my presentation with an end slide with the four takeaways that you're going to take from what I'm going to say now. And these are scientific facts. So basically, I am a doctor in healthcare management and biotechnology. I've been dedicating uh, almost more than six years in studying cancer. Um, one of the facts, scientific facts, and that I'm going to tell you about, and um, I think it's one. Uh, it's called the multi-billion dollar secret about cancer. Um, tumor happens inside the cell when cancer frequency becomes less than 20 hertz. So anything inside the cell that leads into a reduction of a frequency less than 20 hertz, then there is a tumor in the cell. So this is one of the first takeaway. The second takeaway that I'm going to tell you right now is Right now, it's the era of cancer, of wiping up cancer. And we see the government, we see private sector, we, we, we see a lot of healthcare universities. They are doing successful uh, events and studies in wiping up cancer. And one of them is the manufacturers of the COVID vaccine. Uh, it was not a coincidence that uh, one of the manufacturers of COVID vaccine right now is doing hard to create a tumor or a cancer vaccine. Unfortunately, scientifically, that's going not to happen because for a scientific fact that can cancer disease attacks the cell in a different ways than any other disease. So having, having only a vaccine could work from 0% to 100% according to each patient's circumstances. So what's going um, left is another four takeaway, which I'm going, to, um, I'm going to present right now, and which is revealing the new chat GPT for cancer treatment. So uh, we started, as, as I said, um, our company uh, in 2000, 2022 was elected by Life Sciences Journal as the top 10 immunotherapy cancer products. So you can Google Medonect and you can see Life Science Journal was elected, has elected Medonect life treatment device as among top 10 products worldwide, among thousands of products. What's our vision? Our vision is to have a safety, painless treatment for cancer patients. You will tell me that is impossible. I will tell you it's impossible for another fourth takeaway. It is, um, it's important to note that most cancer patients, they don't die from cancer. It's the same, as I told you before, it's the same, it's not a coincidence that COVID vaccine manufacturers found that the, uh, most of, uh, or their, um, basically their vaccine worked for, uh, for COVID. It's the same thing. So most of the cancer patients die from other diseases that's related to, um, to different organs inside the body, uh, related that specifically to the immune system. So that's important to know that the tissues in the body are one of the most important elements to treat um, cancer. So saying that cancer itself, you know, we hit the cancer cell, itself, that's not going to work 100%. You have to have the multidisciplinary approach. Um, as I have said, we're, we're working on, on a sol scientific solution right now for, for, for cancer. Um, our slogan is to 
complete and not compete because we do, are not intending to compete other companies, we are intending to complete them. Here also we, we, can, we, can, um, we can note that our, our, our work is, is implemented through artificial intelligence. And regarding the artificial intelligence, here we, we, we have a need for, for the new chat GPT for cancer treatment, which I'm going to reveal right now, which is called cancer under control. Um, as I said, the journey started long time ago, uh, but officially our pre-submission to the FDA was in December 2018. And uh, we, we, we provided uh, the FDA with all the scientific data plus literature review. In January 2019, we got uh, acceptance from the FDA to continue our clinical studies. We continued our, our journey and also we, we ended up right now in, the, in February 2023 by applying a basic of the artificial intelligence um, through, um, through the applications that I'm going to, to reveal. And um, the language is called ensemble approach, which is the, this language of the AI is the most suitable language to, um, to treat the tumor, and this is what, what we have discovered. We have, um, during our scientific studies also, we discovered that, uh, um, that training or training the, the artificial intelligence to ensemble uh, approach to deliver the right radio signal. So our product is just to deliver ra radio signals uh, through, uh, through only a medical vest that the patient can wear at home. And, and you know, for, for everybody who is, who is here in the healthcare, uh, they can know right now that um, the, um, the HHS and BARDA organizations are, are tremendously and working hard to, our, to support the healthcare treatments at home. So, um, so we don't need it to be, we need it to be painless, as we said in our mission. So we can, you know, the patient can wear the, the device at home, supervised by the oncologist. The oncologist has an application which called cancer under control. Um, the cancer under control has 10 steps. Uh, the first step, you, you will tell me how that works. So that works through a very sophisticated um, mo scientific business model, scientific and business model, basically. The scientific model is, there is three, um, three separate parts of the, of the whole cancer under control. The first step is we have a sender, which is the hub. So the hub is, is built in a very um, scientific approach that can send uh, certain frequencies. As I said, you know, like as I said in my first um, presentation, that cancer starts with minus 20 hertz. Though, so the more if you hit one megahertz for the cancer, then the cancer could revert back. So our, uh, our mission is not to fight cancer because if you're going to fight cancer, you're going to fight the cells and the cells there are interrelated inside the organs, and then you are fighting the human being itself. So uh, these are the steps, uh, the steps of, of the, the AI uh, application. The first uh, and most important is detect the mass of the tumor. So once you detect the mass of the tumor, you can see how it is effective inside the organ and the cell. So, and, and this comes long time ago from basically Einstein formula, E equal mc squared. So energy is equal mass. So once you have the mass, you can define the energy. Uh, the second stage is uh, we, we compare the patient's current condition to the database. 
So we collect database from uh, the government and from the government sides, MTC scans and other private hospitals in order to compare them with the existing, uh, existing situation of the patient. And we go and collect as many as we can the medical history of the patient so we can understand exactly uh, how, how that could work with, with the situation. Uh, I'm going to wrap up basically because um, there's a lot of, of things to talk about, but I'm going to go to the last slide, which is these are the steps. So we have the treatment, the treatment plan, and then we schedule the, the treatment, um, uh, treatment, and then we have um, a report with tuning the frequency, and after that we do the multi multidisciplinary approach. Um, this is the pipeline, as I said. So we, we went into the FDA process, and we're now into the clinical trials process. Uh, basically, we're, um, that, that could be embraced by, our product could be embraced by the CMS. And uh, we're, we're, we're now here to partner with many as, as many as we can, especially in, in terms of funding and in terms of people who can help us also to work on the ensemble approach of the AI. Thank you so much.